Hello, everyone. We have um, we need to um, discuss uh, a little bit of a glitch in the way that Microsoft Excel calculates the quartiles, um, quartile one and quartile three. In previous videos that we've recorded and posted in Canvas, we said that you needed to use the quartile dot um, exc command, and we're finding that it's not giving the an accurate quartile. So uh, in this video, we are wanting to show you how to calculate quartile one and quartile three in Microsoft Excel. To do so, we have to use two different commands. We have to use quartile.exc, and we have to use quartile.inc, and then we have to average those two values. So here I just made up a set of um, data. Uh, that contains the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And let's say we wanted to determine the value of quartile 1. To do so, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to use our equals and then quartile. And when you start to type quartile, you'll notice three commands come up, the .exc, the .inc, and the old command quartile. We're going to need to do both the .exe and the .inc. So I'm going to do the .exc first. So when I double click on .exc, it asks me where my data is located. That's the array. And so I'm going to click and drag on the cells that contain my data values. And then I have to put a comma and tell it which quartile I want. First quartile, second quartile, or third quartile. Here, I'm calculating the first quartile. So I'm going to type in a 1, close my parentheses, and hit N. That is not the first quartile of this data set. The first quartile of this data set is actually going to be the average of that value and the value we get when we do use the quartile.inc command. So I'm going to type equals quartile. And this time, I'm going to double click on INC. Again, highlight the cells that contain my da data by clicking and dragging. Put a comma, and then tell it, again, we're looking for quartile 1. So we type in a 1. Close our parentheses, and hit Enter. So now, quartile 1 is going to be the average of those two values. So I just moved those values over there a moment ago, and uh, now I'm going to average those two values, the quartile.exc value with the quartile.inc value, to get the actual value of quartile 1. So I'm going to type equals average, double-click on average. You can also get there using the formulas command at the top, of course, as well and highlight the cells that contain the values we want to average, which are exc and inc, and close the parentheses and enter. Quartile 1 is actually equal to 1, because it is the middle of the lower half of our data values. So we're going to do something similar to calculate quartile 3. We're going to have to find quartile 3, using the same two commands, the .exc command and the .inc command, and then average those together. So I'm going to type equals quartile, double-click on exc, highlight the cells that contain my data values, comma, 3 for quartile 3. For .inc, we're going to hit equals quartile, double-click on inc, Highlight the value, the cells that contain my data values, comma, quartile 3. Close parentheses. And finally, we're going to average those values to get quartile 3. So we're going to type equals, average, double click on average, highlight the cells that we're averaging, close our parentheses, and hit. Quartile 3 has a value equal to 4. It is the middle of the upper half of the data.